Well, hello there. You know, this box and, and these boxes, both so close to me, both within reach vicinity of some sort of cutting tool can only mean one thing. And that means it's, it's Fan Mail Friday. Before we get started, Ridge Wallets is the sponsor of this episode of Fan Mail Friday. And that's because they've given me product to give away. Details at the end of the episode, go watch it. It's starting right now. There you are. Welcome back. Um, I hope audio is good and I hope camera's good. So I've got a little monitor over there and I'm staring at myself. And now um, I've got audio going to the camera. I'm looking at levels. They should be good. Focus should be good. Like if I do, if I do this, it should, it should keep it in focus. And then if I put it back, it should find my face. There we go. Okay, good, good. Well, listen, we've got some packages to get through. It also means I need to get out some sort of cutting implement. And today it's going to be the, uh, the orangeness of the Punished Probs hobby knife. First. <laughs> a while ago, not that long ago, Pooch was up here to deliver a rep box. We got 11 filaments. It was great. I mean, we, we had fun. He originally put a Logitech C930 up here to get top down shots. And then before he left, he took it with him. So he said, Joel, don't worry, I'll send it to you. And I just, I wanna show you this. Repcord has a giant sticker right here, but he also has Repcord tape up here. Let's see what's inside a Repcord shipped bag. <laughs> Look at this. Some stickers, thanks Pooch, it's awfully kind of you. So the package, I believe, should just come right out of here. Okay, it's in here. Boy, it is packed incredibly well. No doubt you order something from Repcord, it's gonna make it to you in one piece. My goodness. <laughs> and, uh, Okay, now we're to the manila. <sighs> you know, packed with love, obviously. Oh, Pooch, if I could just... <sighs> Maybe it's in this one. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. It is a Logitech C930 and it's gonna go up out of camera view so we can get top-down shots. Thanks. Pooch, I appreciate that. Thanks for the stickers. I got through it all. My goodness. This was amazing. And I, I just want to say I'm, I'm really glad I took this. I took this out of the packages on camera. Uh, uh, thanks, Pooch. Next up is a letter. And it looks like this is from Al Alexander in Georgia. Alexander in Georgia. I'm starting to catch up because this was sent mid-November. So we're getting there. Inside, ooh, ooh. Inside we have a self-addressed stamped envelope. I mean, we know what that means. We also have a nice letter and look at that. US $20 for the kids. Yes. I still got record tape on my hands. Hello, Joel. I hope this letter finds you well. My name is Alex. I'm a 17-year-old university student who's looking to go into the field of information security. I've been a viewer of your content since 2017, but I was never comfortable with sending you anything until now because my penmanship was so bad. Uh, I mean, take a look. That's decent. That's way better than I can write. So Alex, first of all, good job on improving your penmanship. 
Right now, I'm currently working on Captain, oh, Captain Slug's Caliburn. That's for uh, the, the Nerf enthusiasts out there. And I'm looking into designing my own Nerf blaster. I would also like to thank you for piquing my interest in 3D printing all those years ago. Thank you for your time and all you do for the 3D printing community. Sincerely, Alex. P.S. I currently use a CR-10. Alex, thank you. This is really kind of you. And I mean, of course, everybody uh, is going to give you a rah-rah for improving your penmanship. That seems to be a lost art nowadays with everybody being able to text and FaceTime. So keep it up. Second, you've sent in $20 for the kids. You've also sent a self-addressed stamped envelope. Alex, first things first, let's get down to business. Alex, this self-addressed stamped envelope is going to get you stickers, but, but I just want to make sure you know, Repcord uh, did send in some stickers here and I happen to have a knife. So I think it's only fair if I also send you a Repcord sticker. Why not? Right? Why not? Look at that. Three stickers for you. Thank you very much. The kids really will appreciate that money. Before we go on, I just wanna make sure you know that the money that goes into this box right here gets saved up, and at the end of the year, it goes to the one big give for Seattle Children's Hospital that my buddy Bender with 95.7 The Jet here in Seattle, the radio station, they, they're gonna put it on. Right now, you can actually give ahead of time, and all of this money goes to the uncompensated care, uh, the uncompensated care uh, fund at Seattle Children's Hospital, which ensures that no matter who you are, what you make, or what your abilities to pay are, your child can get treatment if need be. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful hospital, it's a wonderful thing to do. There's a link in the description. If you have a couple bucks to spare, you can click that link and you can, uh, you can give via that link. It goes on December 17th. December 17th, uh, there'll be some live stuff. I'm sure I'll retweet it, but uh, all of this, all of what's in here, that's gonna go. So anyway, that's what's going on with this money and one big give for Seattle Children's Hospital. Next, I have a box from D. Thomas LaMarine. D. Thomas LaMarine, I think, I think I know who this is. So, it's only fair we could open the box. Oh, okay. And inside, we, oh, what do we have? <laughs> Look at this, we have a cake of stuff. Just a, a, a cake. Oh my goodness. First of all, look at that. That guy's sus. And then we've got some Pez dispensers. <laughs> and look at this, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's cool, whatever it is. And inside, there we go, there it is. 3D printing llama. Yeah, there it is, I knew it. Look at that. Print all the things. That's kind of cool right there. And then we have, oh, this is um, a lithophane. Let's see, what can I do? Oh, uh, hold on. There we go. You can see, I hope you can see that. That, that is our friend Amy Dansby. That is a lithophane of Amy Double D. You saw her on Lego Masters. She's also a wonderful, wonderful advocate for STEAM. And uh, she, has, she actually has, I think, a scholarship at the National Video Game Museum that she, that she gives to. So there we go. That's cool, man. That looks good. I like it. All right, let's get the lights back on. A lot of really cool stuff here. But also, there's, there's a letter. And, and, a self-addressed stamped envelope. Bam, here we go. This is what it's all about. Oh, oh my goodness. A letter and one US dollar. And uh, I've heard people say that they don't want to just send in a dollar. Uh, but believe me, Every dollar counts, especially when it comes to kids getting the care they need. And so I'm just gonna set this right there. 
right there because we have to read the letter first. Hey Joel, he starts out with. Printed a bunch of stuff, then forgot about it, lol, life and all. The print all the things I did years ago and forgot about. Was cleaning stuff and found it along with other things. The Amy Double D Litho was going to try to send to her and couldn't find an address, so I figured either you have it or can forward it on to her. You bet. I'll get that done for you. Also, did the Pez back some time and, again, never sent it out. Can't afford to ship the ones to Joe, so again, keep it. Or, if the world ever opens again and you run into him, can you pass it on? Absolutely. Or let your own kids have it, perhaps. I'll, t I'll uh, tag him on the Twitter and I'll tease him with it. We'll see what we can do. And uh, there's no Pez inside because he says, sorry, I ate all the candy. <laughs> there is a cat toy. Oh, that's what this is, a cat toy um, that is designed to not roll straight. Oh, and it's flexible. Look at that. It's a, it's a flexible filament. Okay, P perfect, perfect. Um, again, pass it on if you have no cats or let your dogs have at it, whatever works. Well, I don't have any cats. I, I, do, I do have an allergy to cats. Dogs, though, uh, the dogs that we have would actually try to swallow that and poop it out, and then, no. I'll just call it a Joel toy, and I'll just keep it around. How about that? Last is a Sus Dan. It's Dan Borio, DB3D Dan. Thought you might get a kick out of it. I do like that. <laughs> Look at that. The print quality on that is fantastic. Honestly, super fantastic. And Dan Borio, or DB3D Dan, he is the one who, on the previous Fan Mail Friday, gave a shout out because his wife had some medical issues. And as a community, uh, some of us kind of came through and, and tried to help him along their way. Um, she is on the mend, and uh, Dan's a good dude. Hosts uh, kind of a, a community, 3D printing, kind of podcast, kind of stream sort of thing. I'll put a link down in the description. You can pop in sometime. He's a good dude. But apparently, apparently, he's sus. <laughs> oh man and uh and look at this look at this uh, p.s you might want to try that comb i sent you years ago i still have that somewhere i still uh and all crap all i had was a buck because well every buck adds up i guess it sure does that is important and that's going to go to the kids well thank you for all of this this is just uh this is fantastic. I mean, you sent some things for me to, to have and display, which I appreciate. And you also sent me a couple things to hold on to and get out to my friends. It's almost like we're a, we're a spider web of, uh, uh, a spider web of giving. A spider web of giving. <laughs> Who says that? You sent in a self-addressed stamped envelope. Gosh darn it, you sent in that buck. So let's get down to business. First things first. Well, shoot, uh, you, of course, you get stickers, but this is a very special occasion here because Pooch sent some stickers and way more than I need. And so I can actually cut you a sticker. Okay, good. So you get a Repcord sticker as well. And uh, I mean, we're in the spirit of giving, right? So what do I have? Uh, just because that way you sent me things to hold on for other people. Um, I'd like you to hold on to this Fernando Hernandez sticker and give it to Dan, as well as this Build Tax sticker and this Project R3D sticker. Um, and then uh, uh, Justin, Justin, the one whose printer uh, smoked on the stream that one time. I'd like you to give him this Atomic sticker and this, uh, this FDL, uh, Project FDL sticker. And then, um, well, these 3D Gloop stickers, those are for you. Last, and honestly, like honestly, certainly not least. This comes to us from 3D Print UK, and it comes from my friend Kirby Downey. Kirby is the one that designed a lot of the Destiny weapons that I 3D printed for cosplay stuff early on. In fact, it was the thorn that he designed that I sent to Sean as payment for an intro at one point. He reached out because he works at 3D Print UK, and they, let's just, well, let me show you. Let me show you. Oh no. This came all the way from the UK, came across the pond. So of course it means it is packed with uh, ghost turds. Ghost turds. Hey Joel, in this box we have some tasty treats from the UK. Hope you enjoy them. There are also two safety Joels I printed at work. 
One that was printed on our brand new HP 5210 using MJF technology. That's the gray one. The blue one was printed on an EOS P110 using SLS technology. It was then dyed blue using our Dimension dyers. Dimension, that's a hard couple words. Our Dimension dyers. <laughs> Another new thing we do. Remember Dimension, we spoke to them at uh, Form Next. And wow, that was a cool conversation. It's not often we have fun with the machines, but when I first saw the blue, I said, hey, that's just like Joel's high five blue. So I had to print a Joel to be blue. Enjoy your new friends and biscuits. Kirby. Now let's keep this out for reference because I don't want to disturb things. Okay, so eh, we have um, ja Jaffa cakes? Jaffa cakes? I don't, I, I don't know what those are. Uh, we also have uh, McVitie's hobnobs. Okay. I do like snacks. Well, okay, I see that. I just want to make sure. Oh, okay, here we go. And some uh, Maryland cookies. <laughs> Put those right there. Ooh, okay, found the blue one. <laughs> I found the gray one. Okay, so the, the, let's see. The blue one is on the EOS machine. Oh, and it's heavy. Wow. And the gray one is on the HP 5210. And the blue one was dyed using Dimension, uh, Dimension dyers. It just sounds weird. I wanna, I'm gonna see if I can get closer. <laughs> I've got it outside the light, sorry, there we go. Look at those. This is the Photos Mint uh, Safety Joel model. And these are spectacular. These are wonderful. Jeez. Not a single blemish. None. Oh my gosh. I know these machines cost millions of dollars, but uh, they do a real good job. Wow, so cool. Kirby, my friend, these are amazing. I've never actually owned any materials printed on these machines. I mean, I've seen them at trade shows and you know, you get the little, the little widget, whatever that they give out to kind of demonstrate their technology. But I, this is way beyond a widget. These are cool, man. I might have to get one of these to Fotis because I think he might appreciate it. But literally, Kirby, snacks. I'll share this with my wife and kids and the safety jewels. I'm not because they're mine and I'm gonna give one to Fotis. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, can't forget the Repcord C930, obviously. Uh, <laughs> listen. Thank you. Thank you so, so very much for giving to the kids and for sending me just incredible stuff. I love doing this. This is, Obviously, sending something in is never, ever required. But if there's ever anything cool that you think I might enjoy or you want to send my way, there's an address in the description of every video where I can receive fun, cool stuff. Listen, the One Big Kiv for Seattle Children's Hospital happens on December 17th. There's a link in the description. All of the money in here is gonna to go to that. Uh, if you haven't sent something in or you didn't wanna send something in, but you still wanna find a way to help, there's a link in the description and every dollar counts. Thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more and I'll see you on the next one. And as always, high five. Do 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 hey 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 do 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 is the Ridge wallet. This is actually my wallet and I carry it. Look at it, it's got cash, 
It's got cards. In fact, this will carry up to 12 cards and you don't have to get it in this color or flavor. It comes up to 30 different flavors. Ridge is so confident you will like this wallet. They'll let you try it for 45 days and allow you to send it back for a full refund if it's not for you. Plus, if you want to get one of these right here, just like mine, it's a really good color right there. They're running a special. Go to ridge.com forward slash 3D printing nerd and use code 3D printing nerd to get 10% off and free worldwide shipping. What? Yes, that's right. Ridge.com forward slash 3D printing nerd. Use code 3D printing nerd, 10% off and free worldwide shipping. Plus, there's a giveaway. Go to the link right there or down in the description. It's the same link and you can win one of these. Yes, best of luck and thanks again. Thanks again? Sure, why not? Thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring this episode.